with your question about the oh. book. Okay. All right. So I grabbed a couple. I grabbed number seven and eight on page 166 real quick. Um, just to kind of go over some of the stuff we were doing. And so seven says the area of shape A is how many square units? So this is one of those weird ones, right? So we just have to count. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Can I go nine, to the bathroom? 13. Uh, sure. Okay, what page is it on? 18. 166. Okay, I kind of this out. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, four. Oh God, I did it! I redid 15, it for some reason. Sixteen. You redid it? I already did it. So. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. So this is the homework from last week. So I was just going over some. So now we can see it says which one has a greater area, and so we can see that A has a greater area because it's 18 square units. So that says what fraction of units in shape A are blue? So we see here we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and those count. So we got nine out of 18. And so we have one half are blue. Does that make sense to everybody? Any questions on that? All right, easy stuff, right? So now number eight says, find the perimeter of this figure. So we know the perimeter we can get by adding up all those sides. I hurt my right knee today. Oh man, that's no good. I did, I did, I did like a quarter of it. Yeah, I did, and I did, uh, uh, yesterday I did three quarters of it at, at the on last Thursday. Good. All right. So so when we get the perimeter, right? We're gonna add. We'll go eleven plus eleven, and then plus eight plus eight. So here we get twenty two, thirty, and thirty eight inches. Now it says, how many right angles does the figure have? What do we think? I think uh, zero. Zero. Perfect. There's no right angles, right? Because the right angle would be about here. And C is no. It's not a rhombus. It's not a rhombus. Why isn't it a rhombus, Luke? Because a rhombus is... Wait, let me... Wait, let me do something. Because in a rhombus, it's more like diamond shape. Yep. So the difference between this and a rhombus is a rhombus will have all equal sides. So these would all have to be 8 inches or all 11 inches. Okay. Any other That's questions? <laughs> That's a pretty cool dog, Miles. What's his name? Or her Marvel. name. All right, so now we'll get going on to today's like lesson. Stuff. <laughs> so today we're going to go over area of a rectangle. So the first thing we're going to look at is the example on page 156 in your book. Um, and so when we're looking at the area of a rectangle, right, we want to find all the areas here. And so we have two different ways. This person says, I count the square units covered by each rectangle to find its area. And this person says, I multiply the length and the width of each rectangle to find its area. So that tells us that the area is length times the width. So here we have our width and our length, our width and our length, our width, length, width, length. Something like that. Um, so we can count each square units or we can multiply the length by the width. So what do we think? Franklin, what do you have for an area for A? It looks like we have two centimeters on this side and one, two, three, four centimeters on this side. Mm 
what do you think? What's the area going to be, Franklin? All right, Nolan, what do you think? Eleven. Eight, eight square units. What the A? Eight. Because here we have two, one. So we have one and two. And then we have one, two, three, and four on the bottom. So it's two by four. And so two times four is eight and then centimeters squared. Um, let's see. Luke, do you want to try B? B is 15. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Perfect, 15. So it's three by five. And so we get 15 centimeters squared. Miles, what do you get for C? Um, three by five. Because we have one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven times three should be twenty-one, right? Or were you talking about D? All right, so here we go. This one's 20 centimeters squared. Nolan, do you have a question or were you trying to answer? I'd like to answer number D. All right, what do you think D? How would you get D? I'm thinking 20 for D. Perfect. Yep. And so how did you do that one? Because you can see you can see the lines from right there. You could because make them to the other lines. You and already then, said that. I answer. noticed that there was five on one side, so I just did counted on by fives. And I got 20. Because it was five times four. Perfect. Great job. That's exactly right. So we have these lines and we can see there's four here and five here. And so we just five times four. Okay, let's see. The next one we'll look at is question three and it's on page 158. Um, this one says, Wayne wants to tile his bathroom floor. How many one square foot tiles does he need? So here we can see Area is length times width, right? And so we have our length, we'll have an L and our width, call it W. And so what is the area of this rectangle gonna be? Excuse me. Any ideas? What do we think? We need the area. What do we think? Does anybody know what nine times seven is? Right, if our length is nine and our width is seven, we can do nine times seven. It is going to be 63. Perfect, 63 square feet. And so that means he needs 63 one square foot tiles. Good job, Miles. All right, what about question six? And this is on page 158. This one says the length and width of a swimming pool is 50 meters and 25 meters. What are we doing? Area of rectangles. Are we doing the next, um, the next, um, the next lesson? Yep. What was the last one? The last one was uh, squares and perimeter. So now we're looking at rectangles and then we'll get yeah, to well, some more. What was stuff. the last question? This last one? Yeah. So it wanted to know how many one foot tiles does he need? And so if the area 
is nine by seven. What was the question feet. before that one? This was just going over the areas of the rectangle. Oh. Does that make sense? All good now? No, I don't have my my math um my math page because my mom didn't print it. Yeah. That's okay. You can always write it on scratch paper, right? Or a different That's piece scratch. of paper. All right. All good though. Can we keep on going? All right, so here's our swimming pool. And so here we have 50 meters on this side and we'll have 25 on this side. It says, what is the area of the swimming pool? What do we think? How would we get that? Any ideas? Can anybody tell me what the area of a rectangle is? Um, can you do 25 times 50? I don't know. Perfect. Yep, because 50 and 25 is our length and width. So we can do rectangle. The area of a rectangle is length times width. And so we can say 50 times 25. Um, that should get us 1,000. 250 meters squared. Does that make sense for everybody? Does everyone see how we got that one? Any questions so far? Comments or concerns? Are we all, do we understand this, Nolan? You good? Mm -hmm. All right, perfect. Um, Luke, you good? You understand this? part? Yeah. Okay. Franklin, are you good? Miles, you're good? Irene? Where, where are we? What's that? Where are we? So we're looking at example 1-3 and it says question 6 on page 158. Yeah. Can you see that now, Franklin? All right, so now we're gonna move on to the next one. So now we're looking at question nine, and this is on page 159 in your book. Uh, this says these two rectangles have the same area, A and B. Um, what is the width of rectangle B? So we know the length here, but what is this width? Okay, so for starters, we have to figure out what the area of this one is. So how would we get the area of A? Does anybody know? Any ideas how we would get the area of A? What if we did length times width again, right? Because that's what we're gonna keep on doing. So we can say four times three. So here we should get 12 centimeters <coughs> squared. So we can say 12 here. So that we can also say the area of B should be 12 because it told us that they are the same. Oops, 12, there we go. And so now it says what times six should equal 12? What do we think? Any ideas? What number times Where six? Where are you guys 12? now? So we're on example 1-4, question nine on page 159. And so it tells us that these two rectangles have the same area. A's area will be the same as B's. And so we found out by length times width that A has an area of 12. And so B should have an area of 12. 
And so now when we look at it, what number should the width of B be to get 12? Because we know this is six. So what number times six will equal 12? What about two, right? Width of B should be two centimeters. So that way it has 12 centimeters squared for the, its area. Is that good? Any questions or anything? I don't know how to do number six. This one? Yeah. Okay, so I would start, if you draw a picture here, right? These are all rectangles, so draw your picture. And then if we know the width of a swimming pool is 50 and the length is, or the length is 50 and the width is 25, we can write it like this. So 50 is our length, 25 is our width. Then we can say that the area here is length times our width or 50 times 25. And that gives us 1250. Does that make sense? Does that make sense, Franklin? Yes. Okay, perfect. All right, so any questions on number nine here? Nolan, do you have a question or? No. Okay. All right. So then it says part B here. It says, what's the perimeter of the rectangle B? So we know that perimeter is equal to all of our sides. So two times our width plus two times our length. So if our width is two, we can say two times two plus two times six, because that's our length. And that should mean that we have four plus 12. And so our perimeter should be 16 centimeters. All right, any questions on that one? Does that make sense for everybody? Thumbs yeah. up if it makes sense. Yes. Thumbs down if we're like, I don't know. Thumbs to the side if we kind of got it. Perfect. Okay. Good. All right. So now we're going to look at composite figures. So does anybody know what a composite figure is? Luke, what do you think? I think it's like that where you make the figure into two simpler shapes and find the area. I don't know. Perfect, yep, so a composite figure, um, like this says, each of the following figures is made up of two rectangles. Find the area and perimeter. And so our composite figures are made up of different shapes. So we can see here, let me see if I go green. If we did a mark here, we would see that we have two rectangles, one and two, or, you could do it right here. And so we could have one, and then this whole thing would be two. Does that make sense for everybody? So you can, um, you can kind of cut your pieces however works best for you. Okay, so let's start these, let's see. All right, for A, we'll find the area for A. Let's see else, per area equals and then perimeter. So for A, how do we want to do the area? How should we split it? Should we split it down the middle, um, straight up and down, or sideways? What do we think? Miles, what do you think? How do you want to do it? Luke, what do you think? Um, for the area, I think you like, um, so you first find the um, area of one of the separate figures and then the other and then put them together. Yep. So how do we want to do this? So do we want to make a line this way 
or this way. We'll say one and two, so we can break it up into two pieces. I think you can do the one. You would do the one? All right, so we'll just do one. Perfect. And so there will be our line. So now we have two pieces. So Luke, what is the area of this? We'll call this the left piece and this the right piece. Eleanor, um, what's the area of this left piece? The left piece, the last piece is 10. So we have one, two, and one, two, three, four, five. And so we the have right 10. piece is 12. So if one, two, three, one, two, three, and four, and 12. So if we add 10 and 12, we should get 22 centimeters squared. Perfect. Great job, Luke. Thank you. Um, I actually already kind of know this because I did it. Perfect. Good. Good to hear. All right. So now when we do the perimeter, now we add up all the sides. We have two, and then we have one. Two, got, three, my area was 22. Good. Perfect. Yep. That's what we got, too. Three, one, two, three, and four on this side. Then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So our perimeter, we have to add up all the sides. So I get 10, 15, 17, 24 centimeters when I add up all the sides. All right. So now we'll do B, C, and D. Uh, I'll let everybody work on these. I'll give you all five minutes, okay? Wait, can you put them in the chat? So can, put I see it, it, can I see the A? Yep. There. How's that? Good? So what I'll do... I can't see the area. Oh, 22. I thought you said it. But what does the two stand for? This two? Or this two? No, if it, the two that you put after 22 centimeters. Squared. Because area oh. is always squared. So centimeters and then squared. So everybody take five minutes and find the area of B, C, and D. And if you have time, find the perimeter as well. Or what we're doing. For the area of B is 22 centimeters square. Okay, so when you get it, throw it in the chat. <coughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Each each of the area is is twenty two. Two, yeah, right. I just solved. I just got done C, and I haven't started D yet. No worries. And I found out that each one is twenty two centimeters.
Wait, now I'm gonna do the air perimeter. But the perimeter is not the same. Some is un some is under twenty, some is over twenty. I got all of them. So, so for all right. So one, area, once you get them, put them in the put them in the chat so we can make sure everyone's got their answers. Okay. I can't, I can't type. Oh, you can't. No. Okay. Well, give me once. We'll wait until everyone's done, and then you can say yours. Okay. Fine. I'm just, I'm just gonna say something. Of course, they all got. Every, every, er, um, B, C, and D is all, area is, area 22. is all 22 centimeters square. That's all I'm going to tell. Well, five minutes is, isn't even up. It's 7.33. Just started seven thirty three ten seconds ago. I'm now done. I am done. I am done. Chicken All right. Nugget. I am done. So we'll go over them. You good, Nolan? Were you close? All right, so let's walk through these so that we know the answer. So here's how I did for B. So I put my lines here, and so I have this smaller rectangle with an area of two, and this bigger one was 20. And so 20 plus two is 22 centimeters squared. Now that was easy. So then when I did the perimeter, I had five, four, three, 19. one, two, and five. And so I ended up getting 20 centimeters. What, 20? So I this, was 19. this bottom's five, and this part's five, right? Wait, what? One, two, three, four, five, six. Don't forget this one right here. So you have five. Oh, right, 20. Five. So this five. Perfect. Right, 20. All right. Perfect. Good. And then the second one All is right. also, and then the C is area was 22 centimeters square, and then perimeter 22 centimeters. D was 
area 22 centimeters square, perimeter 24 centimeters. Yep, and so how I did see was I put my line right here. And so this small one, the area was four. Four. The bigger rectangle, 18. 18. And so 18 and four 18. is 22. And then when we add up the perimeter, I got 22. Six, five, two, two, four, and three. So then when I did D, I did it almost down the middle here. And so I got 10 for this side and 12 for this side. So when you add them up, you get 22 again. This time for perimeter though, I got 24. All right, and it looked like everybody had really, oops, excuse me, really good answers. So way, way to go everyone. Any questions on any of these or anything so far? Or any questions no, no, at all? No, 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 Okay. You gotta be kidding me. I can hear you now, Nolan, if you're trying to get your sound on. I know. Okay. Oh, and then it says, do the figures have the same area? And so no. we know that this one is yes. They all have the same area. Do oh. they have the same perimeter? No. no. So I thought Miles, you said stop sending the crazy messages of blah, blah, blah. Wait, what do you mean? I send the bathroom one to the teacher. No, oh, but I see Miles send me crazy messages like blah, 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 all about that. Why are you talking to me, bro? <laughs> I think he's just talking to everybody since we're, we're like, kind of on. No, you like, only send it to me. You only send it to me. It's okay. He can't. No, nobody can send it anymore. All right. So let's keep on going. Thank that you. one was really good. So now we're looking at question one. And this is going to be on page 161 of our book. What? So this says the figure below is made up of a rectangle and a square. Find the perimeter and the area of the whole figure. So just like we did before, right? We're going to just cut it down the middle. So this is Jack. So this is four. Franklin. So the area here should be 16. Who said my name? And then here we have seven and we have six. So this should be 42. 42. So centimeters centimeter squared square. and centimeters squared. So the centimeter area square. of the whole thing is 42 plus 16, which is... 58 centimeters squared. Wait, what? I thought I thought 42 plus 16 was um 57. So if this is even, if two is even and six is even, it will always be even. But if one's odd, then it will be odd. So that's a good way to remember. So then the perimeter no, and odds. Good. So perimeter, we can do adding up everything, right? We have six, seven. So what is from here to here going to be? Any ideas? Uh, uh, um, 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 it should be the same as this one, right? They should be the same if it's a rectangle. We'll have six, and these ones should all be four. So that would make this part here seven minus four. Four. four three. Which is three. So three. now when we add up our perimeter, we should get, let's see, we got ten. What are you doing, Nolan? Ten. And ten is twenty. Twenty-seven. Oh. I believe thirty-four centimeters. Just for this one, we have 12 and 10, so we got 22. Yep, all right, so 34 centimeters for our perimeter. Oh. Oh. All 
Okay. Any questions on that one? Anything at all? All right. So now we'll look at question number two. And this is on page 161. And it says that a square was cut out of a rectangular piece of carpeting and ordered a carpet, an L-shaped room. So we're going to find the area and perimeter of this carpet. So we have two ways we can do it. We can cut our piece of carpet this way along the blue line, or we can do it here along the red line. What do we think? Any takers, any ideas? When I do it, I use the red line. The I red the line. The blue one. Okay, so we'll start off with Luke's since he answered first. We'll try the red. Oh. So now that we have the red, that means we have to find the area of this piece. We'll call it one, and we'll call this piece two. Um, and so. Um, the question. Go ahead, Luke. The question mark is four. What is that, Luke? The question mark on the right is four. Is four. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So okay. now. Four. Now we're Not still stuck with how long? What is it from here to the end of this carpet here? Five. Think. You think five? So we're guessing. So this way we would have to guess what this is. And so since we don't know for sure, it could be five, might be, but we're not positive. So this one we might have to go back and do four. the blue line, right? I think it's four. So if we do if we do the blue line here, now we know this is four. Or wait, we might still be stuck with the same thing, huh? I think it's six, six. Oh, so we know, sorry. Luke, that would have actually worked. We know that this part's square. So this is five and this is five and this is five. So it is, from here to here is five. You were right, my bad. I misread the question. All right. So we can do it this way. And then here we'd have one and two. But if we did it Luke's way, <laughs> we would have it like. Huge yawn. And it would be one and two. So if we're looking at this to find this area, we'd have four times 10 because the whole length is 10. So this top part should have 40 yards squared. And then this part should be our five times our five, right? Because if this is five and this is five, that means we should have 25 yards squared. So when we add those together, we should get 65 yards squared. And then if we were doing it on this side, like Luke's, up here, Luke would have gotten five by four. And so one would have been 20. And here we would have had five and nine, which is 45. We still get 65 yards squared. Um, so now we have to find the perimeter, right? So we'll say P, the perimeter. And so that'll be our nine. Plus five, plus our four, and our other five. So we have nine plus our 10, plus our five, plus our five, plus our four, and then plus all of this up here, which is 10. So do you plus two tens? Two tens, or wh whoops, not this 10, sorry. This is five. Caught myself, sorry. So only one 10. So we have, let's see, 10, 19, 24, 
29, 34, I think 38 yards. Is that what you all got? Or did you do it, Chad? Yep. Cool. Okay. So, and this thing says there's a couple ways to do it, right? We could have done the area of the whole thing and then subtracted the area that was cut out. But I like doing it the other way. But whatever way works best for you. Um, so the area of the carpet, what did we say it was? We said 65. <gasps> all right. Any questions on that one or yeah. anything so far? Everyone all right? Yeah. So now we'll look at question six, and this is on page 164. It says, Mr. <laughs> Chang wants to lay carpet over his living room. Find the area of carpet he needs to cover for this entire living room. So this oh is his gosh. living room. Is this, is this the last question? question? This looks like the last question, too. Oh. All right. So, wait, same thing. Wait, what, where's this? Um, 142. 164. 164. Yeah, this is the last one. This is it for this yeah. one. Yeah. Example 204 question number six on page 140 on 100, 164. Perfect. All right. So same thing. We can cut it with the red or we can go with the blue. What do we think? What do we want to do? Red or blue? Blue. Blue. blue? All right. I'm here in blue. So let's see, we'll do it in black though. All right. So what is the area of this piece? Um, um, I'm thinking maybe. What's the length of this piece? 132. 160? It's 32. So it's right here. Length of this part's 32. Oh, 32. Times the width. What's the width of this piece? Five. Five meters. Perfect. Times five. Five. Which is 160. Oh, right? Great. 160 meters. Am I right? Yep. 160 meters squared. So now, what's the area of this one? Let's we'll do it in green. What's the area Maybe here? Maybe it's 180. Um, 180. Yeah, 180. Times 10. So 180 meters squared. So now, mm -mm -mm. our total area, oops, we'll do a different color. Um, Total like, area oh, would be 340. 340 meters. I don't know. No, yeah, 340. 340 meters. Perfect. Exactly right. All right. Any questions on that one? No. Okay. No. Oh. So I have a question. Can anybody tell me what the perimeter would be? The perimeter. So what we usually just do is we add them. Um, for blue the perimeter, what we add is fifty plus five plus three is two. Wait, I think the wait. Mm -hmm. I I think the perimeter. If, if, Fifty one hundred twenty one. One hundred and twenty one. I I don't think so. I thought. I, I think I, you're I, off by just one, Luke. There was one hundred twenty. Right? Yeah, one hundred three. That same here too. Yep. So we have fifty here. That's an easy one. And then thirty two and eighteen is also fifty. And so that's a hundred. Wait, so that's what? Easy. One hundred and twenty. 
Yep. And then we have five and five is 10 plus 10 is 20. 120.